Court thinks you'd be good enough to join. Cypher says that for him it was crystal clear that you'd get to join. Something seems to have made him really happy. You seem to have convinced Rod that you're strong enough. Sentenza will vote for you. He says you were a very reasonable man. I don't need to say anything about Silvio and Bolko. Those two morons are against everyone. Buster says you're okay, and Dar says you're a blabbermouth. But his vote doesn't count for very much here. He never would have thought of that himself. The rest of the mercenaries haven't said anything. You convinced most of them by passing the test. You have my vote in any case. And you won some fair duels. A lot of mercenaries respect that. Most of the mercenaries are for you. As far as we're concerned, you can start with us at any time. Go to Lee. He'll explain everything else to you. Okay. So we are done here. Nobody that means me. that we're gonna get back to the city and try the freaking militia. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> I mean, I could join them now, but I just want to get a, get to the paladin. Just sleeping, and you know, just get back to the city. <laughs> and after we done that, we're gonna do some more stuff for the for the militia and just finish up some quests and I think I'm gonna actually start knocking over some creatures next because this is kind of what we should do to get more experience joining a covenant is really important but um, getting more experience is just the ultimate goal of the game and quite not quite true but you get my point I just want to get a better armor get the belt for it and just get you know more resilient and then I can basically take on most of the stuff here um, I actually can't think of us uh, something that I shouldn't take on yet uh, con considering that I well gotta do something really soon with the same set of armor anyway we are gonna basically pound ourselves through the woods Nobody um, most of the woods at least oh, that isn't true. and yeah that's that's gonna help Getting the new armor, getting like more attributes. The first thing I'm gonna do though is learn how to uh, open locks. This is really important in this game because most of the stuff is, uh, most of the chests are locked, and there's usually pretty good shit in these kind of chests. Um, yeah, joining a covenant would help. And I think I will do that. Um, actually, should I do something before I join in there? I think there's not one thing. Uh, I think I'm ba basically done with all the shit that I should have done before joining. Yeah, the next, the rest of the stuff I could always do without joining. I could, there's one more thing I could do. I could probably join the, uh, the monastery or basically fulfill their request, but that's a thousand gold for I think 100 experience or something like that. Um, it's not quite worth it. And 100 experience will be nothing in the end of the game. Um, I just wanted to get over with uh, the mercenaries. Because there's a bunch of experience to be had. I think we, meant, we went uh, made about a thousand or something like that. Probably even more. Uh, let's head back to the city. These teleporters are a real, real treat. You gotta, uh, you had to basically travel by foot in a normal game. Because these just or these um, teleporters came in with the with the expansion, and yeah, you should have probably well, they're just a tree, <laughs> and we will get a bunch of them uh, later on too, or we will use a bunch of them. There's some more missions I could do. I should do actually, yeah, some more missions. Okay, let's go to Andre. We haven't really talked to him yet. We should probably do that first. There are a bunch of other missions uh, we could do to join the militia. There are really a bunch of ways to join the militia. Um, but we have met the main requirement. And we can always join. We can basically join everybody yet. Uh, right now. <coughs> Hello, Andre. Uh, no. I've got an important message for Lord Hagen. Well, you stand before one of his men. What is this about? It's about a sacred artifact, the Eye of Innes. 
The Eye of Innos. I have never heard of it, but that doesn't necessarily mean anything. If there truly is an artifact of this name, only the highest members of our order would know anything about it, in any case. That's why I have to talk to Lord Hagen himself. Lord Hagen receives only paladins, or those who are in the service to paladins. It is beneath his dignity to waste his time with members of the common folk. I want to take up service with the paladins. Good. I can well use every able man here, no matter what his reasons for joining us. If you place yourself in the service of the paladins, I shall help you get an audience with Lord Hagen. However, I have my orders only to accept citizens of the town into the militia. My commander is afraid that spies or saboteurs could sneak in. He wants to limit the risk this way. Therefore, you must first be a citizen of the town. Whether this rule makes sense or not is disputable, but orders are orders. Okay, um... I'm ready to join the militia. Then you are a citizen of Carinus? The blacksmith has taken me on as an apprentice. Herod? I know him. He works for us. He's a good man. If he vouches for you, there's nothing standing in the way of your acceptance into the militia. You can join us if you wish, but your decision will be final. Once you wear the armor of the militia, you cannot simply take it off and no longer belong to us. Are you prepared to fight together with us for Innos and the King? 